Today also marks the 40th anniversary of one of the worst tornado outbreaks in this country's history, one that impacted Indiana big time. The 1974 super outbreak killed more than 300 people, including 49 here in Indiana. All told, more than 148 tornadoes hit 13 states, and around 5,000 people were hurt. One of the tornadoes in that outbreak targeted Rome City in Noble County. It heavily damaged the Brady's Landing Mobile Home Park near Sylvan Lake. 40 years later, Later, a local woman is retelling her miraculous story of survival in that area. News Channel 15's Adam Weiner joins us live in the newsroom with her story tonight. Well, Linda Speakman Yerrick says she tries not to think about April 3rd, 1974. But 40 years after a tornado blew her out of her mobile home, she says she's thankful to be alive. When you'd look out and see debris and things in the trees, it was like, oh my. What just happened? Forty years ago, Linda Speakman Yerrick says she and her then husband lived in a mobile home at Brady's Landing. And on April 3rd, we're following severe weather on the news. I knew I had plenty of time to take a shower, and at that time, we lost power. What they didn't know was the worst tornado outbreak in Indiana history was heading right toward them. We felt the home going up. You could hear the creaking of like gas lines. I knew we were in the air and then as soon as the house started to tilt, out the door I went. A naked Speakman Yerrick landed next to their car. She says her mobile home was airborne. 15, 20 feet and did two rotations and then landed. Right on top of the car, leaving her inches away from injury. I didn't have a scratch, not a scratch. It's very hard to explain. I just know that God was on my side and I truly felt blessed. As I said, I got out of the shower, I threw on my glasses, but when I got to my mom's, I still had my glasses on, but there were no lenses in them. Within hours, Speakman Yerrick, now executive director of the Noble County Community Foundation, says the community rallied together to rescue victims and assess damage. She tries to remember the good that followed the disaster, but as rain falls 40 years after the outbreak, she can't help but recall its long-term damage in the minds of many. But I try not to think about tornadoes. I think it's kind of like lightning. It would never hit in the same spot twice, and that's what I've chosen to believe. In Noble County, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.